Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss about United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to the Center Agenda with you guys. Well, let's start with what is United Nations. United Nations is an international organization founded in 1945, and by now, there are 193 member states working together in this organization. In 2015, every member agreed that people and planet need an urgent call for improvement, and this leads to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to be achieved by 2030. And the agenda includes 17 goals shown below here. So let's move to the relevant theory, anthropocentrism. This theory includes three forms, ontological, epistemological, and ethical. The ontological is talking about superiority of humans compared to nature. While the epistemological talking about we as a human cannot avoid taking a resource from nature to serve human wants. However, the ethical form discusses about the destruction of other species and nature caused by human wants. Um, for the easy understanding for you guys, the first two forms focus only on um, intrinsic value of humans, but the last one is talking about the value as a whole. And it's clearly seen that the United Nations goals will not wholly be achieved if we use only one or the other. For instance, all human sustainability and development will be achieved if we use ontological and epistemological forms, but unfortunately, the life below water or climate action goals cannot be achieved. So, we should use all three forms together to achieve the UN goals. There are also other perspectives on why we cannot achieve the United Nations goals in 2030. According to Atan Balaf, he said that we cannot solve the environmental problem easily if the total population does not correspond with nature. However, what I just present is not to oppose the human rights, but in fact, lack of education, good health care and modern contraception lead to the um, misinterpretation of having a child or unplanned pregnancy. For example, in developing countries, children are born for the labor force and providing care for their parents. So what we can do? We should emphasize on the UN agenda by empowering women, educating them, and providing good health care to make sure that population growth conforms to nature. Let's remove the discussion to the business context. Well, what are the benefits for a company to apply the sustainable development goals? There are three main benefits in this case. The company that uses renewable energy or material will see a decrease in the cost of operating in the long term. Moreover, employees tend to become more loyal to a company that uses a sustainable policy. This means that the company don't have to raise their costs uh, frequently for hiring and training new employees. Moreover, customer decision-making will be uh, more aware of such company, which leads to an increase in brand awareness and brand image. Lastly, if we use a thought experiment electoral perspective, we will want to prevent the least to nature of humanity in the future. For example, let's ask yourself now, what would you like your brand parent to have done in terms of nature and humanity's destruction? By using this concept, um, indicate that we will decide to sustain humanity and nature as much as possible to prevent the list for the future generation. And today there are many sustainable companies and this picture shows the top 50 sustainable companies. But I will just talk about only one company, Patagonia. The company produces outdoor and adventure at Thai. They produce a high quality product while reducing environmental impacts. For example, in terms of production, the company has used 87% of recycled material and has kept around 14.6 million pounds of CO2. And for the employees, gender equality has been promoted for a long time and employees has been supported through retirement plan and fund, to name but a few. What's more, the company has donated around 90 billion US dollars to the sustainable organization and created a campaign named 1% for the planet for which the company has donated 1% of its global self to reserve and save the natural environment. All of those activities are just some of what Patagonia has done. And as you can see, it's already achieved several goals such as responsible consumption and production, climate action, and lastly, decent work and economic growth. Moving to the last part, the first goal that everyone should aim for the most is partnerships for the goals. 
it's more sensible for the government institution or company to achieve those goals based on their capability. However, we cannot solely rely on them. Now, it's time for everyone to speak up and take an action to meet the needs of society and the planet. Thank you everyone for your attention. And this is my reference. And this is my question for presenters. And this is for observers. Thank you.